click the links to support channel join channel over on subscribe star so let's take a look at the fair impartial uh impartial cnn everything the media has to say about elon musk is so freaking hysterical because you know the person writing it is, is a crazy person and these these people are um it's trump derangement syndrome but elon musk derangement syndrome honestly it might even be more than the Musk, because it, like it, it ties into Twitter, and Twitter for a lot of these people is a, this, it's a dopamine is addict, addiction is as serious as cigarettes. So here's the thing: once you lose free speech, they can punish anything, thought crimes, nonsensical crimes. It's just to exert influence over you, not to lead. It's kind of like what happened over the past few years with all the health issues. There, it's like it seemed like a lot of it was just to. Sh to get people comfortable with acquiescing to a master without uh, without doing a whole lot of thinking. So Elon versus the woke mind virus. Can Elon win? No, not exactly. But he can provide the platform for the discussion to be had to start addressing the issue unless Swab Epstein, Epstein's him, which is definitely on the table. Uh, they got to Epstein in the prison, uh, Brunel in a French prison, and those four crypto guys who are, they've got all the money in the world to buy protection. They still got to them. So the old Trump reply guys are now Elon reply guys, but the energy is not is not the same. The whole 2016 outrage is gone. The spark seems to be gone from the whole woke incorporated. There's the, the Cranstein guys. These two mentally ill brothers who were back on Twitter, and now they're the Elon reply guys. But um, it's just like something is missing from these guys. You look at them more now, and it's kind of like uh, the mask is off. They're, they're, you're actually able to see these people a little bit more. And the, like the justified outrage isn't quite there. You realize, like, wait, you guys have been outraged over Trump for for four years and now you're outraged over elon that you know when you weren't those guys were kicked off twitter for some reason but they're coming back um it, you know if the internet was around in this it wasn't around in the same capacity uh from 2000 to 2008 like you would have had the same energy for bush it's it's like you're just mentally ill people but from the other side of the equation for, for us elon is not anyone's hero he banned kanye that took the energy out of the room People realized that whim and caprice were going to be the rule of the day, that Twitter was not going to be run in a professional manner. It was going to be run by Fiat Vox Day. Even Andrew Torba at Gab has clear rules set up. No prurient interest stuff. Girls in bikinis is the limit. No illegal advocacy and no doxing. So Elon is not a hero. He's just a guy who's going to run and improve Twitter, but unfortunately not necessarily a professional Twitter twitter but we got to work with what we have but uh twitter is still a new beast even with the protected classes it's going to bring up some issues in america and the west in general and the umbrella issue is the need for free speech the understanding that free people don't need masters censoring them if you don't have free speech then you're a slave to those who do control it that means we need free speech on social media by law, but the extension of that is that we need to be protected from being denied services from companies for opinions online. You effectively don't have free speech if the banks and payment processors, processors can simply stop doing business with you. Yes, individual liberty is more important than a billion-dollar company. That should have been something that the left and right can both agree with, except the modern left is not the left of 30 years ago. It's a different beast. Somehow the left is formed in perfect alignment with big tech, NGOs, government, and media. The left is the machine. They never stop to wonder if censorship will ever be used against them. Outside of America, they don't have free speech, and even their codified set of rights is pretty slippery. Their foundational dogma was written at a different time in their country's history, where their countries were fundamentally different. <laughs> Thanks, 19th Amendment, or whatever their equivalent was. They assumed that they had free speech because they were always allowed to speak freely, but they didn't have free speech de jure. Simple, uh, slowly, restrictions on free speech crept in to accommodate the new changing country. The country changed and they started to lose some of their liberty. Now they discover that they really need free speech and they don't have it. And it's all getting to the believe absurdities, commit atrocities stage of the game. We're using the biologically correct pronouns. We'll get the um, police to your door to investigate a potential hate crime. That's, uh, that's what goes on in Europe.
or maybe even Canada and New Zealand, you know, the West that's not America. There is actual crime in the street, but the police are not investigating that crime. They're investigating Facebook posts. That's a country that needs a set of free speech laws, as people in Europe are discovering. There are people being investigated for saying that men can't be lesbians. Cultural Marxist political correctness got us to this point. People let little bits of nonsense go unchallenged, and now you've got the libs of TikTok videos where insane teachers are brainwashing kids in schools, and there's very little pushback because parents know that if they go to a school board meeting and speak against this, Twitter communists will simply hound their workplace and get them fired or Yelp review bomb them if they run their own business. The system as is does not allow anyone to go against the narrative that the media and government are pushing, which would be easy to fix with a law protecting people from being fired for political discrimination. You're going to be waiting a long time if you think our representatives are going to start representing us. There are many things going on, but they can't be discussed because the social media globalists will simply use the system to destroy your life, so only one viewpoint gets pushed. If people were protected from being fired for political opinions online, well, none of this would have gotten this far. They spent 70 years building the shields, then they start committing atrocities, and the shields are already in place. They use total control of media, social media, and financial institutions to render the Constitution inert. The new freer speech Twitter is allowing all this stuff to be discussed, or almost. As long as you discuss, you still have to be somewhat careful. It's not Gab or Fortune, but um, yeah, it's I can't even describe it. It's a whole different. It's a whole different beast for sure. You know, maybe we shouldn't be ruled by big tech and financial institutions. Maybe liberty is more important than big companies' ability to censor us. And you know, maybe the like the founding, the founding, uh, the fathers, like the. They go, oh, it's not, it's not free speech because we're talking about like a constitutional... Per- no, 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 but I, I know the constitutional... Yes, yes, we get that. We're talking about, do you support the principles of free speech? Do you think the principles apply? The individual liberty is more important than a billion-dollar company. There's a lot of people on the left who flat out don't want free speech. There's a lot of people in Europe who are scared of free speech. And there's people on the right, the, the, the MAGA... The, some of them, not the MAGA cons, the neocon types... Um, not so much the people, but the leadership. You ask the, you know, the Charlie Kirks, those control, all those controlled ops guys, the, I don't know, everyone who's, I don't know, you know, you know the names like the Jack Pussyviks and, and the, the guys, the YouTube contingents and, and, you know, you look at them or even anyone in office and you go, so you guys, you guys support free speech. You guys want free speech. Like, it doesn't seem like you're really fighting for that value. Uh, and like you saw what happened when Kanye came out, it's like they turned on him instantly. They go, we support free speech, but, or they concern trolled him. Like, I just want to hear, like, I just want to hear you say, hey, I, I may not agree with what he has to say, but I respect his right and will defend his right to say it. That's the only thing you need to say. And there was a shocking lack of people on the right who were coming out on and saying that because... Because, because they're not really on the right. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next episode.